are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Ok, sta finendo la nostra avventura in Toscana. But we have one more place to visit and we might have to have a swim there. Let's go see. Good girl! Cleverly! We have come to Candalla, which is north of Luca. Uh, I found this place in my Wild Swimming Italy book. Selena's been here, I don't think she enjoyed it, but we're going to go and explore and definitely have a swim, because that is the whole point. Come on, let's go swim. la stanza con uh, il tetto crollato oh. when doing things like this please wear trainers don't wear back and stops I forgot to change my shoes before I got out the car Why? It is very clear the water. It's very red. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is higher up because I can hear people up there and there must be more. Let's explore. Okay. people here. It's still early. I don't think it's even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. Uh -huh. That's why there's a waterfall. Holly, are you waiting for me? Oh, you are a very lovely dog. Visto che non mi sento davvero bene, non benissimo, preferisco non fare il bagno perché penso di avere già una mezza bronchite, non voglio fare peggio. So Carla has just crashed his drone and he's now off on a recovery mission. It is somewhere down there. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it or not. Well, he's got it. Whether it works or not is another question. Dimmi dove era il drone? Nell'acqua. Ho fatto cadere di nuovo il drone. Vabbè. Confidato sul fatto che DJI fa degli ottimi droni e quindi quando sarà asciutto magari funzionerà perfettamente o magari devo comprare un drone nuovo.
we have just arrived in Donas, which is near Alsa, so in the foothills of the Alps, and we're in a very chalet style B&B. Let me show you our room. We are in the Muscat room. Look, there's an old wooden sleigh there, and there's also Father Christmas. So it feels very Christmassy. You know, there's a little sitting area outside our room. Let's go in. So we've got a lovely room with big wooden ceilings. There's a sofa bed there, perfect for the bathroom in here. And there's a little doggy doorway <laughs> out onto the balcony. And then there's a human doorway out onto the balcony where we should find Carlo. Hello. Hello. Good pensy. Che bello qui! È bello, no? Sì, mi piacciono queste montagne così. Non lo so. Così selvaggio, sembra una selvaggia. There's a little garden down there. Amazing slate roofs, that's incredible. Ed è passato circa un giorno da quando il drone è caduto nell'acqua. Quindi adesso inserirò la batteria e vedremo se si accenderà. Speriamo nel miracolo. I think you should still wait another couple of days. Yes, I know, but... Uh, si sta accendendo. È il momento della verità, vediamo se riusciamo a farlo decollare. Vola! This morning we have come to the picnic area Shinyas, which is about a 17 minute walk from where we're staying. One, yes, we're going to have a picnic and I've just been to the supermarket and bought a load of yummy food for our picnic. But two, because next to the picnic area it has this river that goes down and it's full of beautiful rock pools, like that one there. Now we're going to climb a little bit higher because I know there's some more. Where's he going? And see what we can find further up. We're looking for our own private rock pool and maybe this one will do. It's even got shade for doggies. I can't answer that, whatever I say will be wrong. It's quite irresistible though, isn't it? Non è freddo come quello che ci resta. È un po' più calda, ma comunque è So as it turns out, I'm not very good at wild swimming. I was terrified in the river with Celine the other day. I had to get her to swim in front of me <laughs> to protect me. Um, I was terrified yesterday at Candala, even though I just plunged in and plunged out again, but I was scared. And I'm too scared to get in where Carlos just had a swim as well. So I am going over to the other pools where all the people are to see if I think I can get in there. I don't know what I'm scared of, I'm just scared. Yes, this one looks much less scary for some reason, and there's lots of doggies too. This girl's just walked up with her border collie, who's jumped straight in, 
Not like me and Indy. You're rubbish. Hi, Indy. Hi, Indy. I did it I went for a swim and it was absolutely lovely and I must do it more often and I mustn't be scared because there's no reason to be scared anyway we decided we'd have a picnic because this is such a beautiful picnic area and obviously we couldn't prepare anything so we stopped off at a supermarket on the way and I thought I'd show you what I've got uh, I've got some peaches some of the little donut peaches blueberries blackberries and raspberries unfortunately it's all packaged in plastic there's nothing I can do about that a mixture of salamis and four types of cheeses, a little bit of sushi, <laughs> um, some fresh focaccia bread, and a little bit of a roast chicken. It's a bit of a mix actually. Two dog treats because they're not eating their food so I thought I'd get them something different and this chicken is for them as well because they literally haven't eaten for two days now. And just some wafers for afterwards. So basically, when it's July and August in Italy, you can't find chocolate anywhere. Chocolate, they just don't sell it because the shops don't have air conditioning. It would melt in the car. You'd never get it home. Um, so when you need chocolate in the summer in Italy, you have to think of something else. And today I thought of wafers because they've got little bits of chocolate inside them mm. and they won't melt. Mi so piacciono quelli. That's our lunch. <laughs> Se poi invece volevamo fare qualcosa di un po' più serio, tipo comprare qualche bistecca, laggiù c'è il barbecue. Yeah. Con un po' di legna e potevamo avere una bella bistecca, ma va bene così. We will eat this, look here. Yummy! Yummy? That's it, good girl. You need a bit of help, do you? Sì, è viziata, lo vuole dalla tua mano. We are coming for a little walk before dinner and this is the entrance to the medieval part of Donas and the other side of this there's a Roman road, there's about a 200 meter section of a Roman road with a four meter wide arch. Sounds interesting, let's go have a look. Sì, si vede proprio che è una porta di un falegname, abbastanza particolare. Chissà quanto è vecchia, di sicuro non è medievale, però è vecchia. Desperate 30 year old searching for his sleeping beauty before and not after Sunday 28th of April 1996 at 11 o'clock. La cosa interessante è che quel manifesto sta lì dal 96 e nessuno l'ha mai tolto, è ancora lì. And here we are on the old Roman road and you can even see old cart tracks in the stone here. How interesting. Now this used to also be the gateway to the city and it's carved out of the mountainside. Look, here you can see the old cart tracks really well. Wow. Guardate questa roccia come è stata tagliata. Sembra tagliata con una spada a laser degli Jedi di Star Wars. Shhh. Incredibile. And here we have an old lavatoio. So this is an old washing station 
uh, where the town women would come to do the washing. And we're finishing our evening with a countryside walk in the foothills of the Alps above the village. Wow. Questo posto sembra uscito da un libro delle fiabe. Guardate qua. <ride> o un film horror, chissà. And good morning again. We're back in the car and we are just about to leave Italy. We're just past Aosta, which is one of the last towns, I think, in Italy. Da questo lato, sì. Uh, and we're crossing over the Alps via the Great San Bernard Pass, which is only open from June to October and which we have never done before. So we're looking forward to seeing the lake at the very top. Questa strada è più lenta, è, come ha detto Nick, è chiusa d'inverno e non l'abbiamo mai fatta. Però no, siccome non abbiamo fretta e siccome è molto bella, andiamo a vedere. Amore mi serve una maglia oggi molto sfondo. Sì, tu qua su. 6 degrees, what do you expect? What do you think? Mi prendo anche una maglia, 6 gradi. Incredibile quanto può cambiare uh, un'oretta un di auto. Eravamo giù e avevamo non troppo caldo, però era caldo. Qui stavamo morendo di freddo con la maglia addosso. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd ever be out in 6 degrees in Birkenstocks, bare legs and, 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 a, and a little denim jacket. Not quite enough. Okay. Right, let's keep going. It's lovely and warm in the car now. <laughs> our room for the next two nights. I think we're the first guests here, but it's a lovely room. It's got loads of space, got everything you need. It's got a lovely bathroom. And outside is a little pond full of frogs apparently. We've got a little table and chairs. A nice bit of garden for Indy to run around in. Sometimes plans have to change. We had planned to swim our way to England 
and stop every day and find at least one place to swim, we didn't really take into consideration that the weather could change. So as you saw yesterday, it was pouring with rain after we left the Alps and came into Switzerland and the temperature plunged and it is currently probably about 14, 15 degrees, which for me is too cold to swim <laughs> and it's cloudy. So uh, we're not gonna swim today. Uh, we might go kayaking later, but we'll think about that. We're going to go and visit the town of Bessanson, which is nearby, instead. How exciting, we found a little brocant in the middle of the town. Let's have a look. Okay, we've decided that we're going kayaking along the river and then back along a canal. We're not in Italy anymore, we have to wear life jackets. Kayaks are the same colour as mine, but they're, they're the unsinkable ones, not with the hole in, like my one. Now to start with, apparently there's hardly any water, it's very low, so we have to walk out into the river and get over to the other side and paddle from there. Uh, luckily it is not mud, it's stone, so it won't be too slimy. That's, that's the worst part when it's slimy. Come on, Ollie, vai, here, qua, dai, sali, vai. <laughs> Good girl, you are a clever girl. Oh, it is fantastic. Oh, wow. No, 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 you. Just in the. Last year, when I drove back to England by myself with Indy, we ended up kayaking when we stayed with my friends Erica and Alan along a little river near where their house is. It's a great tradition to carry on. So here we are, back kayaking along a much bigger river, and it's beautiful. I wish we could do this near where we lived in Italy. It's lovely on a river. It's so much calmer than the sea, and also because you're going with the current, you, look, you don't have to do anything. You just drift. Ieri abbiamo fatto questa passeggiata là sul sentiero e abbiamo visto che un po' più avanti ci sono delle piccole rapide che potrebbero essere un po' spaventose almeno per loro. Vediamo un po' se riusciamo a non capovolgersi e andare a finire nell'acqua. Oh ho! Nikki, it is stuck! <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> Sorry, really scary! I thought I was going to lose Indy, the kayak, the oar, everything! I completely grounded on a rock and then the current was sweeping everything backwards and sideways. Okay, continuiamo allora. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to carry the kayak from the river to the canal and then he's doing a poo, so we have to clean that up as well.
Captain Holly. Driven for six hours or seven hours? Come to six hours. Six hours, six hours. We're now in Saint Omer. Saint Omer. Sí. And we're near Calais, about 40 minutes from Calais, and we are staying just in an Ibis hotel tonight. And then it's a 40 minute drive to the Euro Tunnel. And we thought we'd come here because there's this beautiful garden behind me, which we can now go and explore. alle mie spalle è la cattedrale della Notre Dame di Saint Omer. Andiamola a vedere. Ma cosa fai? 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 Ma Stiamo aspettando nella nostra fila per il controllo dei passaporti, sperando che ci fanno passare. Uh, yesterday we were in Saint Omer, which is only about 45 minutes from Calais. We were tired, we didn't film much there, we were really really tired by that point. And now I think we've had enough of traveling around and moving places and we're ready to get back to my dad's house, spend a few days, maybe a week or two with him before we start planning our journey back again, <laughs> which we will go a different way, of course, as we always do. And we're thinking of heading round the other side of France, what we, which we never do. I'm hoping I can book a ferry with a cabin that the dogs can stay in. They're very, very hard to find. So I'm gonna have a look and see if I can find one. Sì. And then we'll have a different trip back in a week or two. Sì, speriamo di essere fortunati anche in quello, eh. Sì. Non è facile trovare un una cabina che puoi portare i cani dentro. Mm. It hasn't been the easiest trip. We've had quite a lot of ups and downs this time. It didn't go as smoothly as we hoped. Carlo was ill for a good few days of it. We both got a tummy bug as well in the last few days, which wasn't very pleasant. And and then the bad weather throughout Switzerland and France, which sort of put off our swimming thing, but The thing about planning something is that we planned that we would swim our way back to England and in the end we swam our way through Italy and then we pretty much stopped because it was too cold in France. But that's fine because nothing's set in concrete. It doesn't really matter. We got to discover a few new towns. We went to some places we never would have gone. We kayaked up a river and that was a great thing to do instead of swimming. I'm going to have to put my phone down now because we're at passport control and I know I'm not allowed to film here. Come mai Bass. questa inquadratura sembra molto più alto di te? Guarda, è eh? bassa, eh? Because I'm sitting too low, there we go. <laughs> I know we've shown this a million times, but some people haven't seen it. This is the Eurotunnel train. So you drive your car onto the train, and then the train goes through the tunnel, which is under the sea, and you end up in a different country. <laughs> That's it's incredible. Facciamo vedere come si fa. Non sembra, ma è davvero molto stretto qua.
Hello, Harry. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>